Time for baseball on the show from the bank. Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Philadelphia Phillies. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business. Two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Aaron Nola, a right-hander out of Louisiana, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, this guy has a good repertoire of pitches, and he throws also a knuckle curveball. One guy comes to mind, Mike Mussina, former Oriole and Yankee pitcher, had a real good knuckle curve. Tonight, it's not an easy Lewis. pitch to learn, and what's Northside. more difficult, awesome. it's a difficult pitch for umpires to call strikes, and that's why we don't see a lot of pitchers using it today. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate. Working the ball to all gaps. Line the line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. Right side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Hey, I know everybody was on their toes right there from the pitcher to the defensive side. Leadoff hitters are known for this. Find ways to beat the ball into the ground and beat it out and get on base. Now they have to keep him in check. Let's see if they hold the runner close. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Smith gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Throw over to the bag. And the runner back. And it's one and one to Brock. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. It's going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you've got to get rid of it quick. First, no, he, he just it. manages to get his hand in. Nobody out, runner on first. Hey. The Ballman, two strikes. Here comes the one two. And the sinking fastball called strike three and that's out number one. Well I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball there's not a whole lot you could do with that textbook sinker. At the plate now Michael Lee and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a throw over, Thank and he's did. back standing. The 1 0 home. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, oh, 
that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Runners on first with one down. Just oh, off the sad. inside part of the plate, it's three and one. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. And it's fouled away. The 3-2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Hey, maybe we have that something brewing right here. That has to be the case. When you're facing an elite level A starter, numero uno, you have to find a way to get to him. Any chance you get, maybe this is their opportunity early. In now, Mark McGuire. He swings and grounds it to short. Reined in. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one nothing ball game. That is a really good team at bat right there, right? Just put the ball in play. He does just that, gets the ground ball, and brings home the first one of the game from third. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he lifts it in the air to right field, Harper has a read on it. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Cards forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Cardinals one, and the Phillies nothing. Bob Gibson is on the mound for the Cardinals. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, when you look at the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three. Just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game. Limits the amount of damage. And more importantly, he knows how to win. And that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work on this one here today. Richie Ashburn is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now, and and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another one nothing lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. Count is one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to that bend a lot and by the time it got the there it had fallen completely Jeez. out of the zone. Not much That's you can do with that off. pitch. Gene Segura standing in. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Oh one, here's the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, Dero, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. So he that chased out of the strike zone on that one. Gene Segura Mike. becomes out number two this Mitch. inning. Standing in now, Mike Schmidt. As the first Count pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now the 
the 1-0. Oh, he pops it up. Arenado in foul ground. And he dives, but he can't make the play. It lands foul. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. This is skied into short left center. Brock waits on it. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down one nothing. So now to the plate, Tyler O'Neill, his past line against Aaron Nola. He's two for three. He also has one home run. First offering on its way. Damn. The 1 0 home. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. two. To two nope. balls and two strikes now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. No now a breaking down. ball, but it's low. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Now the 2 0 home. Aye. That's ball three. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in a more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to Whoa. be in if you're the pitcher inside he misses ball four batting eight the second baseman tommy. so one gone in the inning here with a runner at first and that'll bring in tommy edmund come set here's the nothing and nothing pitch Aye. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. Ball well, one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And that misses two and two. Arenado leads off first with one away. Outside in a full count, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Payoff pitch home. Swung on and missed strike three. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he that wants to done. do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. End 
into the box. Bob Gibson as the first ball pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. Has a look now the pitch. Two and oh. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Not very aggressive there as that's down the middle for strike one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. From the belt, the pitch to two and two now. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two picks. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a one nothing lead. Softly hit to short. Scooped up. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Cards leave one. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Here's Bryce Harper now. Hitless in four Leading tries in the ball Billy. game yesterday. The right fielder. Right. Harper. First delivery to him. As he oh, looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Gibson stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. This is his 18th season in the big league, so he's had quite an incredible career. Yeah, he has seen it all. I don't know if he's old school, new school, middle school, whatever the case may be, he's seen an influx of all different types of players, all different mindsets, how to hit, how to pitch. This guy has officially seen it all. And there's one away. That is good. The St. Louis Cardinals Andrew. attack you on defense in this match. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. At the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. As you'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He'll step in here at 275. Four home runs, nine driven in. Now the pitch. Ball back in. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fastball inside, ball just two. inside. Bases are empty, one man out. This one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Good job to work the count, put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And he loses him on a breaking ball. That is it. The catcher. Next, it'll be JT Romuto. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Set and the pitch. In his career, Real Muto hits a little over the 270 mark. The 
before the 0-1. He'll check on first. And the runner back safely. And again a throw. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Pitch one out. Ball, right. Nothing doing. Runners on first with one down. Eight, Takes a look two. at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent that because if it's put in play, that's there's a stop. good chance it's on the Jay. ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout Boy. always works, too. Here comes Jimmy Rollins hey. as he'll take one up in the zone, oh, but indeed the in the strike zone for the first strike. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Two takes, and now he's down 0-2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? The 1 2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2 and 2. Stays alive, still two and two. Two out with the man at first. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Ozzie Smith. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. St. Louis third and in steps the all time Cardinal great Lou Brock ready to deal here comes the first pitch hey. he's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order and we just saw three in a row ball. breaking ball below the zone yeah. that's ball Play one, one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. The 2-1 home. 
ball inside. Well, this next pitch is a big one. The last thing you want to do is give a free pass to a guy that can run like this. He's a real burner out there on the base paths. Line towards center field. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to tour and start. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. Stepping in now, Michael Lee. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Now a throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. I think this all stems from the fact that they're trying to make sure the guy at the plate doesn't hurt them at all. And with that base open at first, they might opt to just put him on. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. 3 oh, and 0 now. Mark McGuire waits on deck. Here it is, the 3 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Hit back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Hey, d -Row, they're off to a nice 2 nothing lead right here. And I think it's time to keep the pressure on and try to add on. Yeah, this guy's a quality pitcher. And you know at any moment he gets into a rhythm, he can rattle off some donuts up there. So this is a nice job by the offense, but not done yet. To the plate now, Mark McGuire, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Here's a look over to first, no, he and he'll get back in safely. Lee stands at first with one out. And then this is low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Ah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Yadier Molina as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he nails him at third. Great throw. That's a tough one right there. You're already in scoring position. So if you're a base runner in that situation, you got to see it actually get away if you're going to try and take third. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, he took something off of it there. It's 1-2. and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Off-speed pitch Back in the dirt as he takes it for a ball.
the 2 2. Drilled down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Two out here and a runner at second. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw in time and the side is retired. Cardinals get one in the inning thanks to Yadier Molina. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-0 St. Louis. Bottom of the inning now. And here comes the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. You know, these next couple innings are really Three. important for these guys. I know they're oh, only down yeah. by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. And now the first pitch. As he will swing and oh, miss yeah. on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. One ball and one, one strike one. to the Phillies' first baseman. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Oh, that's inside. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the Hell ultimate man. challenge pitch. And for me personally, no. watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box now, Aaron Nola. As he'll try to hold back on the oh, swing, but he went around for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. In there, and it's 0-2 now. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. He's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. He's really on a roll right oh, now. Back-to-back -back -back strikeouts to wrap Ricky. up the last inning, and now he started Ever. this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. First pitch on its way. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. One and a one. ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Fouled away. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Here he comes again, 1-2. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Phillies down in order. They're still down. It's 2-0. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. 
New inning set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Tyler O'Neill. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. McCutcheon is there. One pitch, one out. Up next for the Cardinals, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Now to bat, Nolan Arenado worked a walk in his first plate appearance. Here's the pitch. Towards second. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The batter number 19, second baseman, Tommy Edmund. Digging in next, Tommy Edmund. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher oh, tries one. to rush a heater right here. No balls in one strike. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Ground ball right side. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Uh, hey, D-Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep now the bad. pressure on. He's the given up a couple of runs early wow. already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Into the box, Bob Gibson. As he can't catch oh, up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A 1 count. Here's the pitch. To the left side, but it's well foul. Popped him up. Harper coming on. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cardinals, but they're on top two to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that will bring in Gene Segura. The second baseman. Gene Segura. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Ball First two. two pitches off the mark here. It's 2 0. <laughs> Lifted in the air out towards the left center. Brock waits on it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting the third baseman, Mike Smith. So next to hit is Mike Schmidt comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And now the first pitch. Yeah. Rising fastball and it catches the zone for a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. The 1-1. Nope, outside. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward.
Swung on and missed that strike two. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And indeed the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first and there are two away now. And Bryce Harper will dig into the play. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. 50th pitch of the game on its way. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Ball and two. now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Two one pitches, a fastball two swung on and missed two and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speeds. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, two to nothing. Into the box, Ozzie Smith. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Rise up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. Aye. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hit to third. Schmidt has it. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now that left fielder moves. One out, base is empty, and in steps the all-time Cardinal great Lou Brock. On its way is pitch number 75. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. ball off to the left side. Rollins takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Now batting right fielder Michael Lee. Next to hit is Michael Lee. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Now there's a changeup to start him out, but it drops low and away for ball one. That's oh, wide, two and zero. Oh. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Two zero oh count. The pitch. A swing and a miss. Strike yeah, one. Two one strike. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an four. It's two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. Down in order go the Cardinals as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. Leading up for the Phillies, the center fielder, 
Andrew McCutcheon. Here's the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Well One above the letters strike, with the fastball that time. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. I'll now tell you, it's hard catcher. to get more of a confidence Get's boost than striking out the Real best hitters in the though. lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. At the plate, JT Real Muto. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Struck out in his first at bat. Fastball well outside. One out, nobody on. Line drive to center field. And the Phillies are into the hit column. Hey, Dero, it's about time they finally break through. We're into the fifth inning, and that's just their first hit of this game. Yeah, Danny, it's been a pitcher's delight out there. But I'm an offensive guy. I want to see some balls moved into the gap. First knock. Hopefully, this is the start of many. Stepping in now, Jimmy Rollins. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Comes set, and the 0 1. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll the tell bat. you, he could rack the up quite a few man. more before he's Three. done. Still a lot of game Off left in this there. one. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Thickens here, three and zero. Oh. Real Muto, the runner at first with two gone. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Alec Bone will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. He's set, here it comes. 
Count one and oh. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Strike to even the count. One and one. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready to pull the trigger. One and two. Here it comes. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. A big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Your David Hale please. takes over to start now the sixth inning on the three. mound. Number 41, David Hale. And now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Mark McGuire. St. Louis. The first baseman, Mark McGuire. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. Ball inside. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Two balls and a strike Ball, to the St. Louis right. leadoff hitter. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for route number one. The catcher, number four, Yadier Molina. Digging in will be Yadier Molina. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now here it comes. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. Pitch on the way. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Hale benefits from the fact that he throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many batters. However, there have been occasions where he's been hit around a bit. And that's one of the keys when you're managing a guy like this. If he's on, you're going to see him attack hitters. And when he's not, he's more prone to giving up base hits. So you have to have the bullpen ready if it's one of those days that he doesn't have it. Do you think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. The Both of them hit on the absolute seven. screws. One's right Fire. at one guy, and then one's a single. Oh. Go fig. So a runner at first now with one away, and into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. From the belt, kicks and deals. <laughs> He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. Yanked on the ground down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. Love to be aggressive on the base pass, certainly when you're watching the play. That runner saw that baseball right in front of him. The whole play transpired right in front of him, and he felt he could get to third base, and he better get there. Can't be thrown out in that situation.
Here's Nolan Arenado as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and zero. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The one zero. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Cards leave one. They're up two to nothing. So now into the box is Richie Ashburn. To start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell him get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. In there, a base hit. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Nobody. Well, that's Number only two. the second hit he's second given up tonight, man. and the first one didn't Jeez. do any damage. So he's that's not sweating this off. one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. From the stretch. Pitch oh, misses low. The throw down. Not yeah. in time as he steals second. Well, the stolen base is that close. It's interesting to check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, you'll want to focus on the top speed. Really good, and it paid off there. Ashburn leads off second with nobody out. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, I bet the manager breathed a sigh of relief when he saw he wasn't no, hurt that badly. The last thing they can afford to lose is a guy like that for any length of time. Plate now, Mike Schmidt. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. Oh, and two, here it comes. One ball, two strikes. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone. 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. He lays off it to even the count two and two. <laughs> Looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. He's set. Here's the two two. None out, runners at first and second. Two two pitches found away. He 
set. Now the pitch. Outside in a full count, three and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. He's set. Here's the three and two. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And he will get in there with their first run. It's a 2-1 to -one game now. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dilo, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. to the plate now, Andrew McCutcheon oh, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, McCutcheon carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Sneaks a fastball one one. by him at the letters. It's one and one. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. One, one. And a double steal try here. for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Keep in mind people the longer the at bat the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. The 2-2. Two -two. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. stays alive here as he gets a piece of this and in turn he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he fouls this one off. I know the fans love the souvenirs but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Fouled off. <laughs> On its Taylor made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. <laughs> Phillies will have to be content with just the one. Sam Coonrod will Coonrod come on in relief three. now as he'll make now his 10th appearance the of the season. Number 54. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in Tommy Edmond. Leading off for the card, the second baseman, Tommy Edmund. And now the first pitch. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. Nope, I think he's going to challenge him right here. 2 0 now. Now here's the pitch. Oh, 
And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. The 3 0 pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. He's really struggled with his command of this game, no doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. So here now is the pitcher, Bob Gibson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. Only oh. plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The batter, number one, shortstop, Ozzy Smith. The next to bat for St. Louis, Ozzy Smith. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. One ball, no strikes to count. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Oh. Well, you see this a lot. A guy comes out of the bullpen throwing bullets, but he has a tough time finding the zone. Trust me, velocity is a great weapon if the hitters are tempted to swing. Now the 2-0. Three ball, no strike. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. He's set, and a 3 0 hey. offering. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Three and two. We got three ball and two strikes. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Now at the plate, Lou Brock is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on the way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Two well count the pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Edmund on second. Smith is over at first with one away. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home, and he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Next up, Michael Lee struck out in his last trip to the plate. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big-time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, one pitch. 
outside. That's the goal. This is where you got to empty the bucket out on the mound. Throw your best stuff right here, right now, and try and get out of this. If anything catches outfield grass, this game's probably over. Here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to two and one now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Into right center field, and this ball's going to get down. A base hit. One run is scored. The run scores from second, and it's a four to one game. Hey, d -Roll, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Chase Anderson is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Anderson. Standing in now, Mark McGuire, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the 0 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Now a ground ball to the right side and through into right field. A base hit. And to score is the runner from third. And that will stretch the lead to four now. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead or a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four, and you know that same situation's gone out the window, don't tell me that. Oh, it does. Oh, it does because, d the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a safe situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball. You get up to warm up in the ninth. And you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save. And all of a sudden, you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. The 1-0. Ball, that's out. Listen, I'm biased to the hitters. This is a situation where you've got to be aggressive. He's shaky right now. Two men on, and now you've got a 2-0 count. This is where you want to capitalize. 3-0 and to him now. From the stretch. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Next to stand in is Tyler O'Neill, And with every base occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Aye. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? Segura for one, but they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. Next up is Nolan Arenado, his lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. He's five for seven, and he'll get back in standing. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball one, no strike. 
and when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed, strike one. one. Good take there, and it's two and one now to the St. Louis third baseman. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. Throw over to first, runners back. Four runs here in this half inning. And another throw over, oh, keeping particularly close tabs on him. The 2 1 home is taking ball three, three. Gotta think it's going to be a fastball here on three and one. He definitely doesn't want to walk the bases loaded. Runners on first and third, two away. Hits this one hard the other way. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nine men come to the plate, four score. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. The Cardinals lead it six to one. Last half of the seventh here, and in steps the catcher JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up. That's a ball. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Two Guide into very shallow right. Lee has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. The batter number 11. Shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Next to dig in, Jimmy Rollins. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Here's the pitch. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very okay, rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager oh, no, he's right. if he's yeah. going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? And this is taken in for the second out. The first baseman, number 17, Reed Hoskins. So two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Smoke on the ground up the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. As we take a look at his numbers, now a couple Matt, of things no jump pitcher. out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by Anderson. guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to Your get a little bit please. fatigued. Yeah, and in today's pitch game, pitch everyone pitch. seems to want to err on the Number side of eight. caution in terms of pitch Jay. counts. Here in the seventh. One left for Philadelphia. They trail six to one.
Hector Neris will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 50, Hector Neris. Ready to begin the eighth, and that will bring in Tommy Edmund. Tommy Edmund. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. And think about it, in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Yeah. A ball and a strike. Popped up. Real Muto shading to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. The bat. And now here is Bob Gibson. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there, no balls in his strike. Right hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Gibson is retired, two down now. Stepping in once again is Ozzie Smith. He's working on a one for three thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Here's the pitch. And he watches a splitter for a called third strike, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They hold on to their six to one lead. Jordan Hicks is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 12. Jordan Hicks. Leading off the inning, it'll be Richie Ashburn. And they could use a spark from him here. The left fielder, Richie Ashburn. First pitch on its way. And that misses ball one. Hicks stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He's in his third season as a major league player. One oh home. Count now a ball and a strike. The one one is strike two swinging. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You can tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Brock waits on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The batter. Cardinals two. are into their bullpen Second now baseman. as there are the final numbers G. for their starter. He the was on draw. point from the get-go this evening. Hey, Matty V, you know when you've got really good stuff, you look down at that strikeout total. Double-digit strikeouts in this one. He had swing and miss stuff right from the beginning. 
in now, Gene Segura. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Nope. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, ball one and one. Right. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right hander's up and warming. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. One out, nobody on. Three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Really good late bite on that slider now right there. The Third best base ones base. have that late action My that just darts at the last minute. Miss. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Now it'll be Mike Schmidt. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. He's set, and the pitch. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. One run, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And it's quickly 0-2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Phillies down in order. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Set to start the ninth in this one. And in steps the all-time Cardinal great Lou Brock. Now the first pitch. And look at this. A bunt attempt to start the ninth. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Stepping in next, Michael Lee coming off the clutch two-run single his last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Bases are empty. One man out. To short. He's right there. Throw on the first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. Mark McGuire. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mark McGuire. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. First offering. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike oh, to the Cardinals first baseman. Whoa, no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Little dribbler down the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. The 2 2.
Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Cardinals. They lead it 6-1. to one. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bryce Harper, you up for the four, what five, and Phillies? six hitters, and they're hoping the that this Phillies. is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Harper. Yeah, one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. From the stretch. Now a sinker well, runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. The 1 0 delivery. Strike swinging, timing a little Good off time. on that one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. The one two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Here's another one, two. And another foul ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Another one sent foul. Again, a one two. Ball two. I love these grinder at bats right here. Kind of a la Wade Boggs in the early 80s, where he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. A little bouncer. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound is completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Now back. So next to the plate for the Phils, Andrew McCutcheon. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now here it comes. Hey. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. High and deep to left center field. Going back is the left fielder at the track. The wall. Adios. Pelota. So a solo shot here to left center field, the 248th of his career. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now that at the plate, JT Real Muto. Real Muto. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Set with the 0 and 1. 
One ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. And oh, this helps. ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The 2 1 home. Swing and a liner. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. The batter number 11. Shortstop. Jimmy. Daniel Ponce de Leon enters from the bullpen, hoping to get the final You're two outs complete. and put this one now into the win column. The Number 32. Jimmy Rollins will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Take a look at ball one. Real Muto, base runner at first with one out. Nope, and a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2-0 on the way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Brock. Is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Now at the plate, here is Reese Hoskins, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope, ball one. A runner on first with two away. That nope, misses outside. two and zero. Oh. From the belt, the pitch, and there's the first strike. Two and one. Corner and slicing foul. Philly down to their last strike. And it's fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Two out with the man at first. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly on to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 finish. The St. Louis Cardinals put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Bob Gibson earns his first win of the season, striking out 12 in the process. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
our final line score tonight. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals. Six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For Philadelphia, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.